Hi, it's Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. What we're going to talk about today is how to show an assembly in two different positions on the same drawing without having to do family tables or extra models. We're going to do that using mechanism snapshots. Now, if you've got an assembly that can have different positions, you should already be thinking about assembling it as a mechanism to begin with. To show you where you do that, let's throw in another component in this assembly. We have a little toggle clamp we're working with today. Now when you open a model like this, normally you're going straight and assembling it with regular constraints, but next to that, in this user-defined area, you can also define things in terms of mechanism joints, things like pins, sliders, and cylinders that allow that assembly to have a range of motion. Now this was assembled that way, and by the way, you don't need mechanism mode to do all of this. You have those joints available in regular Creo parametric. So how do I position this in different ways? Well, I go to this drag components command right here. Some of you may have seen this before. You can pick on something that has a degree of freedom, in this case our mechanism with all the different joints, and move it around back and forth. What a lot of people might not be aware of is you've got this snapshots pick right here that expands the window. Now by clicking this icon here, I can take snapshots of the current configuration of this mechanism on screen. So I'm going to take a snapshot of that position. We'll call that closed. And let's move that to an open position. Now you could specifically enter angles and configure what open means to you exactly. We'll just eyeball it in. Take another snapshot and we'll call that open. Now we're not done yet. We've created these snapshots and I can alternate between them. But they're not yet available to a drawing. There's one more step we have to do. And that's this little command right here. If I click on that, I get a little drawing glyph in front of the name of the snapshot. That means it's available for use on drawings. Now we've done that, so let's create a drawing. And we'll choose a format for this guy using that assembly. Okay, now let's create some views and show how we'd access those snapshots. Let's grab a general view. Let's pop it, say, right here. We'll zoom in so you can see that. Now where we find those snapshots is in the exploded view section. So if we go to view states, say we want to explode compute, uh, components, not only would we have any exploded states we recreate, we have our snapshots there as well. So let's choose close we have for this one. Let's create another view right next to it. Only this time we want to show it in its open state. Go to the states, click on the explode components, and let's grab open. So now what we've done here is we've taken this assembly We've shown it in its two different states on a drawing. We didn't have to create alternate versions of the assembly. We don't have the overhead of any family table at all. We're just able to show it in any number of positions we want to, as long as we create these snapshots and make them available on drawings. Now, if you've got any questions about this or any of the other videos, go ahead and contact me or anybody else at EAC, or leave a comment in the comments section right below this video, and we'll get back to you. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.